Now you, you touched on, uh, you know, compound interest when, 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 uh, when Heather said that you can reinvest, basically you're taking your original principal and whatever you earn on it, you're compounding it back. And then that prints, that becomes your new principal amount at which earns mm -hmm. interest as well. And I consider that the eighth wonder of the world. I know um, compound interest. If, you know, if you, you know, taken advantage of it's, it, it's infinite returns. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's and it really beautiful. juices your yields. I mean, I ran a couple of calculations for a client the other day because they were not sure they just wanted to get their earnings paid out. I said, well, here, do the math. And it was almost a half a percent more if they were to just reinvest their earnings, you know, and it everybody's in a different stage in their life. Right. You know, you may have millennials that are just getting started and, you know, which is great. Like, I wish I would have started this in my 20s, <laughs> I, you. you know, like, where was this? How come no, nobody told me about this? Um, but, you know, for the, that type of a client that doesn't need the cash flow, reinvesting your earnings and putting in growth mode is the only way to go, especially with IRAs, because those custodians are so fee heavy. You know, you have monies going back and forth and they're charging you transaction fees. Yep. Or, you know, I deal with a lot of people that are retired. They sold their practice or their business or, you know, they're looking to replace their income. Um, then they're obviously looking more on the cash flow side of things. And that's an option, too. I mean, you can get your on fund three, which is the regulation A plus fund earnings are calculated every month and paid out. On the accredited investor fund, that's on a quarterly basis, but either fund has the options to reinvest. So it really just depends. And the other really neat thing is you can change it. So mm -hmm. maybe you yeah. set it up now and you don't need cash flow, but in a year or two, you want to plan for the future. You can always switch it. It's very easy to do. I mean, it, it honestly, you need to think of it as, I mean, it, it, like putting your money into a fund, especially an open-ended one, is a retirement account. So yeah. it's the same thing. You want to build it in the early years. You want to build it up, and then you can use it as a distribution mm -hmm. later down the road. I mean, these are the things that a lot of people don't get taught. We we don't teach we don't teach people how to use, and I'll use air quotes for it, alternative investing yeah. or alternative assets to uh, to subsidize their living and and it it is fantastic. I mean, Oh yeah. Like I, I, I just left the collective genius and I mean, I was tell I was telling someone, uh, I, for I forget who it was. Um, uh, but I was like, I might be the poorest person in that room. I, I, <laughs> if I'm not, I'm definitely like top, you know, one of the, the three poorest people in that room. And I love it because everyone there is utilizing real estate to make a difference in their lives and their communities. Mm -hmm. Um, and, 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 and it's not a secret. Everyone can do it. And I know. funds are a fantastic way to diversify your risk and, and really get in the action. Well, and you don't, you're not hands-on. You're not one, you're not dealing with tenants and toilets and rehabbing houses. I've done both. I'm just here to tell everybody it is not as glamorous as it looks on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, what the heck? I thought this was supposed to be like, Chip and Joanna, my husband and I almost got a divorce. We made great money, but I don't ever want to do it again. And yep. yeah, is and then the other thing is there's lots of options with trust deeds and buying paper. And we sell tons of paper. But I I am very transparent with our investors, especially new people. It's like, here's the deal. You want to buy a trust deed? I will sell you a trustee, but I want you to understand exactly what you're getting into because people don't tell them, you know, hey. There's no guarantee that guy's going to pay. And if he doesn't pay, I'm going to guarantee you, you're going to have to start foreclosure. Foreclosure costs money. You don't have the cash flow coming in. And for some people, like honestly, buying trustees through your IRA is a great opportunity because if you foreclose and take that property back and sell it, yep. all that profit goes back into your IRA tax deferred. So you just have to look at your strategy and how active you want to be. I mean, I work with so many people that are just professionals. They have full-time jobs. They're like, I don't want the headache. I don't. I don't want servicing calling me, telling me they didn't pay. But then on the other side of it, I have people that really like that. So that's what's nice about the funds is because it is the same asset. It's the same thing as the trust deeds. It's just we're managing it and we're doing all the heavy lifting for them. And they don't have the headache of it. And and it's not just one trust deed. It's hundreds of them. Yep. They, you know, you, you, you touched on it. Yeah, if someone doesn't pay, um, you don't get... You don't, you don't feel that in, it's in the It's a lot fund. less painful. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't feel it. You, you might go from a, you know, you might lose one basis point or two basis points on, on your potential yield. 
if someone doesn't pay when the, with a trustee, you lose all of it. Yeah, like it, it's not there. So yeah, I mean that's the same thing. Some people want to be active; they like playing the game, and that's great. Yeah. Uh, but a fund is a great way to set back and you know and let someone who you you trust run the show and do it well and 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 make you money. It's it's, yeah. it's a great way to do that. Uh, well, the and, other thing is you're not you don't have undeployed capital either. You well, know, exactly. you're getting worst, it back, and then the worst lag- time is in an investor's life is when they get paid back because they're like, oh my god, I got to find somewhere else to put this. And you and I have done deals together. It takes time. Mm-hmm. You know, it may yeah. take a week or two that money's sitting there undeployed. Where in a fund environment like your guys's and ours, that money's just constantly out there working, and you don't have that. So yeah. that's another big selling point with a lot of our clients is I don't, you know, it's great that borrowers pay off, but then it's a big hassle when you got to find a new new trustee, your money has to go back to your IRA custodian, then we have to request it back, you know, that could be a two, three, three week turnaround. Yeah. And there's no, like if, uh, if one pays off, there's no guarantee that you have one available at that nope. time to sell them. I mean, you know, this, like the, the way the a fund works we either have too many deals and not enough money or yes. the complete opposite. So, <laughs> so, you know, if you hit us at the wrong time, we, we don't have anything to, to sell you. Yeah. Uh, so 